Training Module 5.1, Part Off. I'm Edwin Tunney, Training and Technical Specialist for Horn USA Incorporated. During this training, we'll do an overview of the Part Off System S100, the 224, and also the 960 cassette system. We'll talk about the value added features, success in the market, and how to apply. So if you look at Horn product line, um, we have really part off in every system uh, that we make. You have it in the S274, uh, the 264. All these are capable of part off. Uh, what we're gonna focus in on today though is the S100. Uh, so the single edge insert, the 224 system, and then we'll talk about the 960 uh, modular system for part off. So the, uh, the main advantage Horn has is uh, geometries. So we have many geometries for parting off. You have the C, uh, C geometry, you have the E, then EN, the D geometry, the F, the three, and also the N. Just to kind of uh, maybe uh, bring everybody up to speed, uh, part of uh, the part off process is also uh, what you do to the component, so the burr size. So to minimize the burr size on the component, you need to have a lead angle. So when you have a lead angle, uh, the forces change a bit uh, on the system, so just be aware of that. So at zero degrees, the force of cutting is generally just straight back on the cutting edge um, and perpendicular to the axis of rotation. When you increase, like with five or eight degrees, you start to put more uh, and more force, which will diverge the insert from a straight line path and actually will cut a concave. So uh, 15 degree will be the, the worst part of that. So 15 degree, will produce a very, very small uh, burr or pip on the part, but it will actually uh, diverge the most. So you wouldn't wanna use a 15 degree in a very aggressive application uh, where you need to put a lot of pressure on the, on the, the, the component. Uh, you would wanna stick with a, a five or an eight. There are also four degree and 12 degree depending on uh, the application. So the first system uh, to talk about the S100, uh, the S100 has your self-clamping tools, so your blades. Uh, also, you have some uh, top clamp uh, blades, as well as specific tools for trowel index machines. You have uh, square tool holders and also cassettes. In addition, you have a Groff uh, system, uh, also for part off. The value added features of the S100 system are you have uh, access to through coolant inserts. Uh, so with the 3V, three, uh, three uh, you have a coolant coming right through the insert and into underneath the chip. Uh, so very, very uh, pro productive uh, and good for tool life. You have a high durability uh, self clamper. So our self clamping system is a little different. Um, you use a special key, a P39L wrench, uh, which is a, like a polygon and it opens it just enough uh, to put the insert in and then clamps down very rigidly. This gives you very long life on this tool uh, because you're not fatiguing the metal uh, very much you're just deforming it just slightly to get the insert in. You also have a positive uh, stop on the insert, uh, different from other tools where you kind of uh, push the insert into place. This has a positive backstop, which is gonna give you a very reliable cutting height. Uh, so your center line cutting uh, plane is gonna be very accurate. You also, you have modular systems, which we'll talk about, and then all of those different uh, alpha angles or lead angles available. So here's an example of an S100 with uh, the through coolant technology. 
Now this is on a drive shaft in 42 chromium MO S4, which is basically a 4140 on a Gildemeister CTX beta. A VDI 40 holder, so standard sort of setup holder um, with 290 PSI coolant. So the parameters here, uh, we ran 360 SFM. The maximum RPM on the machine was 1500. And then uh, you can see here a, a kind of a feed strategy that's good to use uh, when doing part off. Uh, and that is to feed at your, your normal feed rate on, on entry. Then when you get about uh, five millimeter from the center, uh, half of that feed, and then slow it down even more as you go across center. So remember that um, your cutting speed is constantly being reduced as you go to center. And at the very center, your cutting speed is zero. So you're essentially uh, just shaving material off or pushing it off. So always reduce your feed as you move towards center. It's a, a good process. So using the through colon insert, uh, we're able to compare to a competitor uh, competitor was 120 parts, horn was 720 parts. So that's a six fold increase in tool life. The 224 system, uh, the, you have screw clamps, you have self clampers also, as you would find in the S100. You also have reinforced blades uh, for index trial machines, uh, and then some for Swiss. So where you have access to the uh, clamping from the front of the tool. So where you have a, a short, small work envelope machine, you have access to that. The good part about the 224 system uh, for part off is very high durability self clampers, the insert backstop, the double cutting edges. So you get two cutting edges, selection of lead angles um, to produce those burr-free parts, Swiss holder options also, and a rigid locating prism. The other thing um, to note, the 224, you will have access to a lot of different geometries. So um, if you're doing other grooving applications, uh, you can make use of those geometries on that system as well. The next thing to talk about is the 960 program. Um, so the nine, and this is a, an 845 cassette. So the 960 is a system where you have a basic holder, you have an adapter plate, um, and then you have your cassette. So the setup um, can be put on a BMT, um, MAZ, multiple machine interfaces. You also have VDI uh, holders as well, VDI 25 through uh, 40. And I think there's maybe a little bit larger than that on the VDI side. But uh, so you have a basic holder that adapts to your turret. Then the adapter plate uh, fixes on the basic holder and then the cassette fits inside your adapter plate. Uh, the cassettes are ambidextrous, so they can be right and left hand, uh, which is really handy depending on if you're running on uh, upside down or right side up, or if you're running on a main spindle or a sub spindle. So as you can see, you can kind of get a better uh, picture of how this is assembled. Uh, you do have adjustment of the cutting height as well. Uh, you have internal coolant with different coolant options. Uh, so depending on uh, what the need is. Uh, so you can run this uh, right side up. Uh, this in this case would be for the main spindle. You can run it this way upside down for the sub. Um, run it on the other side of the basic holder as this right side up or upside down on this side. So a lot of different configurations all with the same exact tooling. So you don't need extra tooling for this you can just reconfigure the same tool. So as mentioned, multiple machine interfaces, VDI, MAZ, BMT, HSK, uh, polygonal. So polygonal means your uh, C, uh, C4, C5, C6. Uh, so for your multi-spindle machines. 
cassettes that you can get, uh, you can adapt to the S100 inserts. You can also adapt to the 224 and the 229 systems. So 224 and 229 being uh, systems where you have the geometries available. You have internal uh, coolant from multiple directions. So through the, uh, under the flank of the insert, through the insert, on top of the uh, insert in the clamping finger, and then from multiple directions on the, the 968 holder itself. Uh, so very versatile system, and you'll see in a moment uh, why, why we recommend it. So here's a comparison of surface quality. This is with the exact same, um, same insert uh, system. So it's an EN geometry insert, three millimeter wide at 525 SFM and eight thou inch per rev. So this is with the 845 cassette on the 960 system. And this was with your standard part off blade. So you can see sort of the difference in, in finish there. And you can see at the end, it's more stable than the part off blade because you don't have this sort of abrupt uh, point there. You can also see uh, the flatness is much better with this type of a setup. So you have 845, the, the cassette on the 960 system, you have a flatness of 0 0.01 millimeter, so 10 micron. If you look at the part off blade, you have a flatness of almost 60 micron. Uh, so almost, uh, almost six times, uh, more than five times, but almost six times the out of flatness. Now, in, in perspective, 0 0.055 um, is really not that out of flat, uh, but if you want something dead perfect, uh, you're gonna wanna go with the, the 845 system. You can see here too the surface finish. Uh, so the, the comparison of the surface finish with this type of setup with the 845 uh, cassette, you have a, an RA of 0.7 micron and an RZ of six micron versus a standard part off blade, which is 2.8 micron or 22 micron RZ. Uh, don't let the chart scale uh, mislead you here. This is 10 micron to 10, so plus 10 to minus 10. And this chart is plus 50 to minus 50. So um, the numbers tell, uh, I think, a better story. If you look at why this works so well, it's pretty easy to see. Here's a, here's a market success that we have. So this is your standard um, part off type tool. You can see that we're connecting it the, the same way. Um, this is a, a polygonal, I believe. And, but you can see the difference. So from the edge of the insert to the support, you can see how much material is underneath that insert. So uh, it's, it's very rigid compared to other systems. It also lends itself, as you can see, the, the system is clear. It has good clearance around the insert uh, versus here you have some interferences and some some possible places to collide. So this was on a stamping die in a Venetus 23 material, just steel. Uh, the competitor was using two, two cutting edges, 350 SFM, 2000 inch per rev uh, feed. The horn uh, tool was a 3V2, uh, which is the an S100 insert with the 3V2 geometry, which is the throughpoint uh, geometry in AS45, so aluminum titanium nitride, one cutting edge, 400 SFM, and four thou inch per rev. So double the feed and uh, just slightly increase on the speed. So the competitor product was 2738 for the insert. The horn was 1210, uh, cycle time is 34 seconds. Cycle time was 16 seconds for the horn tool. The competitor had 14 parts per edge, and the horn tool was 42 uh, parts per edge. So all boiled down, the manufacturing cost per piece was $1.99 for the competitor tool and 75 cents 
uh, cost per piece for the horn tool. Um, that resulted, you know, all the, the advantages resulted in a 50% reduction in cycle time and three times the tool life. So very, very rigid tool um, and very efficient at uh, doing a part off operation. So how to apply part off? Um, main thing is cutting height. Make sure your cutting height is correct. Uh, use the polygonal wrench, the P39L wrench. You want to make sure that you don't use a screwdriver or um, whatever's laying around a, another torque wrench. You want to use the proper wrench. Use the shortest setup possible. Uh, use alpha angles to improve finish and component burr. All right, that's it for us today. I uh, hope to see you back here next time. Uh, don't forget to uh, hit the subscribe button if you want to get uh, alerts on all the great training uh, that we're posting here on our uh, YouTube page. So until next time, uh, see you and thanks for joining us.